up sweet babes in today's video we are going to be making my famous homemade brown butter chocolate chip cookies when i tell you this cookie is so decadent it's so moist this is a really good cookie okay you will make this cookie and sell out in a day if you choose to sell them you don't choose to sell them and it's just something that you want to make for your family at home i promise this will be a family favorite so the ingredients that you will need are butter brown sugar white sugar eggs vanilla extract salt baking soda cornstarch all-purpose flour and chocolate chips I have these ingredients sitting in front of you. I do have chocolate chips as well as the Hershey bar that I am going to cut up so that we can use both of them. I do have kosher salt, but you can use iodized salt. I have used both of them at different times, so it really doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat, you can use whatever salt you like. I also have the regular vanilla extract as well as vanilla bean paste just for reference because you can use either or i am going to use whichever one i pick up first in this video so i'm going to go ahead get everything set up we'll be right back to make these super delicious brown butter chocolate chip cookies okay so in this large bowl i have my brown sugar and my white sugar i'm just stirring this up and mashing everything down to make sure that the brown sugar is smooth and fully incorporated with the white sugar i want to get all of the lumps out because as you know brown sugar is extremely lumpy now i'm going to add in my eggs one at a time and here's a pro tip about making cookies as opposed to when you're baking a cake you want all of your ingredients to be room temperature when baking cookies you do not have to have all of your ingredients room temperature why because it's best to bake cookies chilled anyway because when you make your cookie dough you want to chill the dough to get all of those flavors incorporated you want to chill it so that when you bake the dough it doesn't spread and give you a flat cookie and it bakes um nice and fluffy with that nice little dome on top that then lays down to be just a beautiful cookie so because you want your cookie dough chilled anyway, this is not a recipe to where you have to take your items out ahead of time for a room temperature recipe. The items can be chilled. Now, I had already browned my butter ahead of time and I did put it in the fridge to help cool it down faster for um, video purposes. So... Um, it did start to solidify a little bit, and again, that is okay. That's actually better so that because if the butter is too loose or too warm, it can affect the shape of the cookie, and it can affect how your cookie bakes in the oven because that can also cause your cookie to spread because of the butter. So I'm just, and all of that brown stuff that's going in there, that's all of the yummy goodness. Like the butter alone smells so good, so caramelized. Like the smell just lets you know that it's going to be an awesome cookie. You want all of that good brown stuff to the bottom of that pot. You want to scrape all that up because that's the important part and put it inside of this batter and mix it in really well. Okay, so I'm going to mix this in really well. And I was supposed to put in my vanilla extract once I mixed this in. I was supposed to put my vanilla extract in next, but I did forget and add in half of the flour before the vanilla extract, which is fine. It, it doesn't make a big difference, but normally I like to put in all of my wet ingredients first and then lastly add in the dry ingredients, which is the flour. And I had already incorporated the salt, baking soda, and the cornstarch inside of the flour. And let me tell you, mixing this stuff up 
is a workout. So you'll see me pause. You're going to see me look like I'm just playing in the mixture. I'm just trying to get my arm a break because, honey, I would rather lift weights. Okay? Like, seriously. But here I am adding in half of the flour mixture, or half of the dry mixture inside of the batter. And I'm going to mix that in. And once you start adding that flour, your arm really going to get tired. Okay? Most of the time, I use a whisk. But um, either way, it doesn't matter. Your arm's going to get tired. Okay? If you're anything like me, you don't lift weights, do push-ups every day. This, this is going to be a workout. Okay? For me, as for me, it was a workout. See me pausing, trying to trying to think about it. Like, what did I get myself into, honey? But we gonna mix this cookie dough up. We not about to let no cookie dough take us out for the count. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, mix in this cookie dough, and then I'm gonna add in the rest of the flour. No, and then once I mix this half in, that's when I realized I missed the vanilla extract. I'm gonna add the vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add in the rest of the flour. I'm going to mix that in really well. I'm going to then add in my chocolate chunks that I cut up. And I'm going to add in the chocolate chips. Mix that in. And then I am going to scoop my cookie dough onto my pan. And my pan is lined with... A silicone mat it is a custom sweets in a jar silicone mat we do sell it on our website it is heat resistant you don't have to add anything to it it comes out super clean the bottom of your cookies come out super nice super golden brown they don't burn this is a a1 silicone mat you can purchase one the link is in the bio it is on the Sweets in a Jar website. And if you want the exact measurements of this recipe, the link for that is also um, in the description box. You can also find that on the website as well. So that is what is coming up. That's what you'll see. I'm going to go ahead and let you watch everything come up next. And I will be right back. Okay, so as you saw, I had to give up and start using my hand to just knead it a little bit because your girl elbow started to get tired. You can actually see the brown butter speckles inside of the cookie dough. That is what you want to see. This cookie dough smells amazing, I promise you. 
This is the pan already lined with our heat resistant silicone mat that you can purchase on the website. And we have our cookie scoop that we are going to use to just um, get our cookie dough out and place it on the pan. Normally, I do not use such a large cookie scoop. I use a smaller one, but I decided to go with the larger one today. If you do not have a cookie scoop, please do not feel discouraged. You do not need one. All you have to do is use your hands, peel you off some cookie dough, roll it up in a ball and put it on your sheet pan. I promise you do not need a cookie scoop. This is just what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead, get all of the cookie scoops onto this pan. I am going to top it off with some extra um, chocolate chips, and then I'm going to wrap it in saran wrap, place it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, take it out, put it in the oven, and I will be back to show you the final results. Now, remember, you always want to chill your dough before baking it so that your cookie does not spread all over your pan due to the moisture from the butter. So you do want your ingredients, especially your, bur your butter, to firm up before placing it in the oven. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish this here, and I'll be back to show you the finished results. Okay, our cookies are out of the oven and look at this. These are our chocolate chip, our brown butter chocolate chip cookies, homemade from scratch. This is how they look fresh out of the oven. Now, the, you don't want to cook your cookie completely in the oven. I'm going to break it open so you can see it is pretty firm crunchy on the outside not crunchy but it's done on the outside but on the inside you still want it to be a little gooey because the longer it sits the more it will cook on the outside of the oven which is how you get a longer lasting softer cookie on the inside that is how you do not overcook your or over bake your cookie you want to under bake them and then let them finish baking outside of the oven that was a silicone mat and how it looks nothing stuck to it it was still pretty much super clean the bottom of the cookie wasn't brown as you saw this is how they look they baked perfectly you just have to let them sit out finish cooking on the cooling rack and, and they will be ready to eat so if you like these type of videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the description box what you want to see next.